Hello, I'm Sam Farmer. I work in the cosmetics industry and usually I'll be in a laboratory or a manufacturing facility, but due to the current situation, the lockdown, we find ourselves inside, but we can make some cosmetic products from our own kitchen. I'm in my kitchen today and we're going to make bath bombs. What do we need to make a bath bomb? Well, essentially it's just three main ingredients bicarbonate of soda, citric acid, and an oil of some sort. Now I'm using rapeseed oil, but you could use coconut oil or olive oil, whatever you've got in your kitchen. And I'm gonna add in some herbs. The crucial element to making a bath bomb is the ratio of bicarbonate of soda to citric acid and it's two to one. It's two bicarbonate of soda to one citric acid. So we want two scoops of bicarbonate of soda, whatever measuring instrument you're using, to one citric acid. We'll give that a quick whisk, just to combine those two ingredients. And the next element is the oil. Some people absolutely specify how many milliliters of oil you should use, but I would just go by eye. Just add a little bit at a time because you can always add more, but you can't take away. And you're just looking for it to be just combined. I can see already that's not quite enough oil. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a sploosh in there. So give it a good whisk. This can take some time. You don't want any clumping. And what we're looking for here is for the whole powder to resemble a sort of breadcrumby type consistency. Now it's easy to see when that's happened if you're using olive oil or rapeseed oil because of the coloring. If you're using coconut oil, it's a bit trickier. So we're getting there now. That's pretty good. And what we're looking for is for it to clump up nicely and not break apart too much. That's pretty good. I've got some thyme, some mint, some rosemary, and some lavender. And I think mint and lavender go particularly well. You don't want to add too much, otherwise the bath bomb won't hold together when it's dissolving in the bath. They all float to the surface and it just adds to the whole experience of the bath bomb. And then we're going to put it in our mold and we're using this egg cup here, but you can use ice cube trays, Tupperware, anything you can find that gives a good shape to the bath bomb, nothing too big. Press down and you want to be quite firm you want the bath bomb to hold together. And then, there we are. And there you have it. Science at home with a lockdown bath bomb. <laughs>